Hi, Brenda. Hi. Today I would like to know what is this fruit and its significance over Sukkot? Ah, this fruit is called an etrog in Hebrew. In English, people call it a citron. It's related to a lemon, but it's somewhat different and it has a very thick peel and very little fruit inside, so you really can't eat it. But it has a wonderful smell that you can smell. And people often say that the etrog represents two things. First of all, in the Torah, when it teaches us, it doesn't specify the fruit that mm -hmm. it wants us to use on Sukkot, but people chose this in part because it's supposed to represent the heart, um, that's about the size of a heart, uh, and so it represent our lives that we're giving thanks for during Sukkot. And the second thing is that it has this beautiful smell that reminds us of, they say, the rabbis teach someone who um, both studies and does good deeds. So they don't just theoretically learn about what they're supposed right. to do, they actually go out and do it. So on Sukkot, when we hold the etrog, we smell that beautiful smell, and we're reminded to use our hearts to not only learn about what we're supposed to do and appreciate the world around us, but to go out and try to make the world better for everyone. That's it. Now we know. Thank you. <laughs>